Hi, ni hao, I'm Chef Tam. Today I'm making you a special one of my grandma's favorite recipe that were when we grew up as a kid. I don't know what to call, but all I know is it's gonna be using the rice flour, luo mi fen, and I have one cup in and I use half cup of the hot water just from the tap hot water and you mix it in a little bit at a time have to be warm okay so we are making this luo mi pancake first and a little bit more The best tool to make this recipe is by hand. My grandparents make everything by hand. They make their own pickle, wine, jams, bun, bread. My grandfather have his own uh, vegetable garden, huge one. And his own cattle, got chicken, dog, cow, you name it. And we make everything at home. Yeah. Gonna keep missing it like this. So you want to knead the rice flour dough like when I push down like this, and you want to make sure they not stick to your hand. If they stick to your hand, that mean a little bit wet. So you're just gonna like, for instance, just sprinkle just a little bit, not much, the rice flour in, because rice flour and the regular flour are two different things. This is very, very uh, like a sticky, almost just like a rice, like a sticky rice. I see this is good, and you don't want to make it too uh, dry either. So you're gonna need this for about a minute or two. This is something that is like a traditional home cooking. Yeah, something like this. This is good. Now I just kind of like a roll like this together. You don't have to form a, like a ball, just like this. Just make sure they're kind of like a glue together and form a shape because later we're gonna uh, pin uh, sear this uh, rice flour pancake first. Next, we're gonna crack some eggs. You can do three or four or five, it's up to you. And then we're gonna uh, roughly chop some green onion. I use the whole thing. I got uh, two to three, start off the green onion. And put it back in here. And just, just keep them a uh, quick, rough, Beat like this. I'm gonna season the salt and black pepper later. I don't like to season the salt and the pepper in the egg because it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste the right way of the texture of the egg. Here we go. This is the 10 inches of the non-stick frying pan. I put medium heat and I'm gonna add some uh, olive oil. a little bit and then next we're gonna put in this rice flour pancake like this and what you do now here you just use a spatula just kind of like a swoop out and form a bigger pancake as big as you can get and make sure you keep it on the medium heat. Just keep doing that. Every about 45 seconds, you give them a quick flip. Like this, you see? And then this side, do the same thing. Because this is a rice flour, they will expand. And you want the kind of like a light crisp outside. And inside is like very starchy rice, 
and you just keep doing that. Make sure it's medium heat, okay? Because so this will not go too uh, overburned. You see that? It start getting bigger, right? Just keep doing that every 45 seconds and then you give them a quick flip. They start to form a little ear bubble inside. Alright, so now we're gonna another flip and then you do again. So you probably do twice twice on each side. And we do want the lightly crisp outside the rice flour pancake. This is going to be so delicious. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite when I grew up in Taiwan. Taiwan, Brunei, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand. Oh, so many wonderful food that you can have there. Everything they cook from scratch. What do you think? Almost 45 seconds. Okay, you start to see the bubble coming up. You see that here? That's good. That's mean they cook the rice flour inside. Yeah, see? That's how I like it. The crisp of the outside of this pancake will give you a really nice texture later when you bite into it. This one I'm going to take time. I want to show you. See this spatula, when you see the ear coming out, that means you gotta hit it like this. Otherwise they just puff up like one, like you know, they're not evenly. Actually this is like a rice cake, huh? You can tell the inside is almost cooked. Anytime you deal with the flour or rice flour, you want to make sure they cook too. Otherwise it doesn't have a really uh, nice taste you see okay all right this is probably good enough okay now you get a spatula and take your rice flour pancake up like this okay and then the other hand drizzle some olive oil make sure it's the medium heat Throw a little bit and this hand still hold your pancake nice and steady and then the other hand put in your egg mixture like this okay about like about a minute I'm gonna do it with you. Almost there. Medium heat. You let the egg cook and let the egg set about a minute. And then guess what? You add in your pancake like this. Press down gently. and then make sure your stove not very high heat medium and you're gonna let them cook and we want this rice flour pancake to glue on the egg and then we're gonna give them a quick flip after another minute I start to see the rim is turning brown so it's time for us to give them a quick flip. Ready? Boom! That's it! <laughs> Need to practice, okay? Now we have a nice layer of the egg with onion and so Now you need to season some salt, black pepper, And then before we serve, make sure you give some saoxing wine. 
just like that.